Uh, okay. My name is Guolian and uh, uh, I come from Alibaba and uh, I'm a, a kernel CPU subsystem developer. And today I want to talk about uh, uh, load reserve stock condition architecture forward progress guarantee. Uh, this word is come from the RISPI and the other architectures such as ARM call it load exclusive, so exclusive, and some some architect some architecture call it load link. Uh, so the, they are the same. They are the same. Okay. Uh, the the background uh, I want uh, first I will I want to introduce the background. The, uh, the motivation I do that do this is I have pushed uh, I, I want to uh, push the queen spin log to respy. Uh, and uh, this work is the rest in the 2019 yeah uh, and, and as as we all know queen uh, uh, spin log uh, is competent uh, competent in in uh, both in the uh, embedded, embedded system or the cloud server. It solves the fairness and cache line bouncing problem and ensures performance and size. So it's very valuable uh, uh, function in the kernel. Uh, uh, we start work in the 2019 and uh, the first, uh, the first, uh, the, the version one is made by the um, Macho uh, Slack. Yeah, uh, and the, and this uh, and this code borrowed from the MIPS and just wrapped uh, by the compare exchange. And uh, in the version two, I directly used the assembly code to implement the compare exchange uh, exchange sixteen. And uh, that's uh, um, the 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 code is not uh, uh, perfect, but uh, I but it's correct. I think I have reviewed that. Uh, and and then uh, uh, and then some small uh, uh, fix up and the coding conversion in the version four, uh, we uh, the the end find that uh, in the Q spin log core code uh, has the native compare exchange implementation for the X uh, for the exchange time. And uh, but uh, but uh, this uh, this uh, but, but this patch is rejected by the maintainer. Uh, yeah, I would uh, explain why. That's uh, really uh, uh, that, that's really uh, correct. And uh, in the version four, it's very valuable uh, threads. We talked a, a lot uh, and discussed a lot. Uh, most of the materials in this presentation from this thread. And then uh, we take the advice from the Peter Zidinia and uh, we try to implement the tech log. And I send uh, assembly assembly code, but uh, uh, but uh, uh, Peter Zidinia gave a generic version, and uh, which have merged into the mainline by the power. And RISPI, uh, OpenRISP, Long Arc are using it now. And uh, and in and in version five, uh, the, uh, this year I pick up the patch again. And the continue push to spin lock for the risk five and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, give the clever uh, clarification uh, of uh, of the requirements uh, uh, in the Q spin lock. Yeah, and uh, in the version seven, I give out a combo lock implementation to combine take lock and Q spin lock in one image. And uh, in the nine, I involve the more architectures. Uh, who who want to queue spin lock that 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 together and uh, and uh, and have a have a more discussion on it. So uh, so that that that's the background. Yeah, and uh, I put the old link here. And if you have interesting, you can have a look. So uh, yeah, and and today is my agenda. Today is the agenda. Yeah, firstly I want to talk about atomic instruction category concepts. And the second, I, I would uh, uh, give the forward uh, progress guarantee concepts, and then uh, XM memory model and uh, how how we find the forward guarantee in XM memory model. Yeah, and uh, micro uh, and uh, and then I will show some micro architecture implementation cases, and then uh, we talk about take a lot of queen spring lock requirements, and 
uh, in the end, we give the architecture summary. Okay. So, uh, so what's uh, so? Let's talk about the atomic instruction category. The uh, actually, we can separate the atomic instruction two part. Yeah, one is pure AMO instruction. That means one instruction do all the uh, read, modify, and uh, write back. Uh, the only in one instruction. So, uh, so we call it the AMO instructions. Yeah, and another is uh, the load reserve store conditional. Yeah, that means uh, the OMO instructions called uh, uh, composed by the load reserve store condition and uh, uh, include uh, uh, all of the atomic op, batch op, uh, and return exchange, compare exchanges, even a compare exchange dump. Yeah. Uh, I will show you how to do that in the uh, later slide. Yeah. And so, uh, so that means we have uh, two uh, two kind of in atomic. Yeah, one is pure AMO instruction. One is the pure load reserve store condition architecture. Yeah. The uh, the the pure uh, the pure load reserve store condition we can uh, uh, the architecture is the such as the ARM32, uh, sky open risk, and the pure AMO such as the uh, X86, and the ARM64 is the pure is the pure load reserve store condition or the pure MO. They have uh, uh, called it the LSE, large system extension. When you use the large system extension, you will move to all the M atomic instruction. And uh, another, another architecture is uh, a little bit confused. They mix the MO and the load reserve store condition. That means part of the, uh, they give out a part of uh, some AMO instructions, but they don't give the uh, complex one, such as the compare exchange. Uh, th this kind of uh, the, uh, the risk five and the long arc is the case. Yeah. Uh, and why 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 we need the load reserve store condition? Yeah, because the the atomic instructions come out first, and the, and the, this one is come uh, uh, later. And uh, uh, here I, I, I give, I, I put the risk by comment up here. Uh, uh, actually, I conclude the right side into the left side. It have uh, gave the four advantages. That the CS has the ABA problem and the CS is, is expensive and the uh, DCS is more expensive. And the, and the load reserve stock condition semantic is more efficient than the CS. Yeah. And and and, uh, and uh, he also gave the two disadvantage of the uh, load reserve stock condition. That's uh, it says the uh, it's it what cost live log more than the CS, and the DCS is basically primitive in the software ecosystem. And in the end, he also mentioned about the transaction. I don't know why why this comment uh, uh, mentioned the transaction uh, uh, tra transactional memory model here, and so to to that that means uh, the, uh, the uh, because RISPAP didn't give out the multi word uh, load reserve store condition uh, instructions, so so he uh, he said um, we hope the transactional would, would help. Uh, but it's not related to the forward guarantee because it's a uh, weak, uh, uh, weak forward guarantee, and you still need to prepare the uh, traditional uh, atomic instructions pairs uh, for retry of the uh, uh, transactional. Yeah. Uh, all the comments here uh, is so subjective. Yeah, it's it's, it's so sub subjective description, and. Uh, and the, the only I agree is that a CAS is expensive, yeah. And uh, and uh, and uh, the load reserve stock condition is really cheap, yeah, really cheap. Uh, and be why? Because the real world is belong to the atomic atomic instructions, yeah. And uh, and uh, we all use the load reserve stock condition. Condition. To implement atomic, 
that that's the truth. So there is no load resolve stock condition threat in our Linux or in our software ecosystem. I, I don't found that. Um, maybe you can argue me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have okay. to say. Uh, right, okay. I, I would disagree with the line that CAS is expensive. That is entirely an implementation detail. Um, Especially and, if all you're doing... But sorry, I'll, I'll just say, on other architectures, it is significantly cheaper than load link store conditional for many common operations. Especially if all we're doing is CAS with load link store conditional anyway, right? Like, it's not any cheaper. <laughs> it's just it's the same thing. Uh, it's just... Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, the, uh, it's have said here, if you implement the CS, you need a most, you need a register field. I mean, the, your micro architectures prepared a large register field, more port, more import, uh, you need the uh, three import and the two out port. So that's what increased your, your, your hardware implementation cost. I think, so, I think the, what you're saying here is it's more expensive to build the hardware, not that the operation is more expensive in practice as a user. That's a very... Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, here, yeah, yeah. here, what I mean is the CS is uh, expensive in hardware implementation, not that the operation is expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the, actually, the operation, uh, LIC operation is more expensive. Yeah. Okay. So here, here is it. And, and 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 here I would say uh, what is the for the progress guarantee? Yeah, and uh, and uh, there are two concept the concept of the for the guarantee. First, uh, we use the load reserve stock condition to implement atomic. So we hope the atomic would have a strong for the for the guarantee, and then it will behave like atomic. Uh, the 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 forward the forward pro progress the guarantee means means a uh, strict forward guarantee. I mean, maybe the only local events called failed stock condition, not the catch concurrency cannot uh, di disturb it. So so it's one concept. That means the stock condition uh, 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 should not fail. I mean, should not fail. Uh, almost, or, or or mostly success, yeah. Uh, and, and, and the second uh, is called the CS loop for the guarantee. Yeah, that means if you write code, uh, uh, it, this code is come from the, the, the QSpin lock uh, uh, exchange tile implementation, why one CPU course is massive. And, uh, and, uh, and look here, if, if you have the CS loop for guarantee and that this loop cannot not uh, infinitely loop. It just a two do a two times loop would then would be broke. Yeah, a second loop always break without a local events. Yeah, that is two concepts uh, for the guarantee. One LRC and one is compare exchange. Yeah, to prevent the live loop. Okay. Uh, Can I just check with you're defining these as properties? But my understanding is that basically no hardware on the planet provides that first guarantee. Uh, the hardware need to give the guarantee of that. Yeah, LRC and CS loop for the guarantee. I will talk talk later. Yeah. Okay. So uh, so so here is my my uh, here is the concept of the what the for the guarantee for what the progress guarantee is. We need not only not only for the load reserve stock condition, but for the but also for the compare exchange. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So. Uh, how we measure uh, measurement it? Uh, how we found uh, uh, which machines is uh, for the guarantee uh, could have the foreign guarantee? So we move I on the XM member model. Firstly, I look at the LKMM and uh, and uh, and he, his role is is right is per here and the and the little uh, cases is here, and uh, and there is no LIC primitive or from so. Uh, they all they uh, all, all are high level abstraction, so I cannot uh, uh, get view from the uh, kernel memory model to see how what how forward guarantee is in a machine. Yeah. And and so uh, so uh, I don't know uh, what the kernel would prepare the uh, uh, this kind of the semantics. I don't know. Uh, but now, 
Yeah. Yeah. So sorry, I'll, 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 again, yeah, let's just to be clear, the, the CAT model and that language does not at all describe forward progress guarantee in any way. All it provides is reachable states. Um, so we, we, the abstraction does not provide that at all. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah. The the memory model. Yeah. The, the Hertz seven. The Hertz the Hertz seven. It give out a lot of states, and uh, and you 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 can run it on the on the machine and see what what happening what the states what what got so. So, uh, the, but uh, but the, what I say here is that uh, there is no this kind of semantics I can reference. Yeah, but I can find that in the ISA ISA XM memory model. Yeah, and uh, and I I choose a uh, uh, simple one. It's the grip uh, load resolve definition for. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, memory model is a very large topic today. Uh, we don't uh, we don't talk more about the memory model. We just pick we just uh, talk the forward guarantee very small part of it, and uh, and uh, we just utilize the uh, the litmus to to see how how the forward guarantee is. Yeah, here is the uh, here is the uh, 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 test case I got. Yeah, uh, and you would see the 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 there were were two two core. Uh, two threads and uh, one often uh, execute the load load resolve definition, and uh, we 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 can run it on different machines and see how how the definition field is. Yes, and that means how how x, x uh, how 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 the register eight x eight uh, be 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 non zero be one. Yeah. And, and uh, this and this exam memory model is come from this slide. Yeah. Okay. So firstly, I I run it not not my run. Uh, I just uh, find a log. Yeah, that's on GitHub from the U4510. It's a real machine. Yeah. And uh, you will find the the, uh, the the field. The field is very. Uh, the field is very limited. The field is very limited. And uh, the only millions field, I mean, only millions field, we have uh, we have written uh, uh, a lot of times, yeah. But uh, only only very this numbers uh, case uh, status form this kind of, that 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 is, yeah. So most most of it is success in this uh, in this machine. Uh, so. So so make so from this results I would say oh this machine would be is a strong for the progress guarantee yeah it's not weak it's strong okay and and uh, just as and say, this is the nomenclature here um strong forward progress means an absolute guarantee or I think you're saying I don't think you're saying this is an absolute guarantee because testing cannot prove that but it's absolutely it looks very good and but I don't think you have a strong Forward progress guarantee as a technical term. Um, uh, 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 I I don't think it's the absolute for uh, forward guarantee. I mean, uh, we still could uh, let it build. Uh, for example, if, uh, if the local events such as the traps exception could still disturb it. Yeah, uh, we I mean strict forward guarantee, strong forward guarantee. Maybe just the P1 cannot disturb the. P zero. Of course, you, uh, you you see from the test result, I I can I cannot say P, uh, there is no 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 remote events. Yeah, because we only see the numbers of that. We don't know the reason of that. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So so uh, but uh, but I I ran the same test on on the QMU. Yeah, on the QMU. The QMU implementation is. Uh, is 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 not a correct so it's correct because the QMU use in the CAS implement load reserve definition. Uh, yeah, uh, why why it's translated to it? So actually, I think uh, I thought the QMU should be a weak, a weak, a weak forward guarantee. But uh, the result is it's just a 
100 times weaker. Yeah, then, then the, then, then, then the uh, 540. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not so weak. Yeah. But I think it's not, uh, uh, it's because the QMU is executed so sequentially. Yeah. And uh, uh, sorry, actually, sorry to interrupt. Uh, just one question. So I was under the impression that in order to uh, to provide uh, warranty about for progress, you had to model your system, or at least let's say the the monitor that would be checking for the uh, link uh, link load store conditional uh, collisions, uh, and then uh, uh, run a, a model checker uh, with forward warranty progress checks on that model. So I, I don't think this is part of what is being checked here. Am I correct? Yeah, like the herd tools, if you run it on the axiomatic model, it shows you the reachable states and it'll absolutely show that these can fail. Yeah. Right? That means you do not have a strong forward progress guarantee. Absolutely. Um, all that it's checking is the reachable states. It's not giving any guarantees of forward progress. Um, but we can, uh, I mean, we can, we can see uh, how many uh, stock initial could fail in this in this scenario in this litmus test. I, I know this litmus test didn't uh, uh, didn't give out the uh, states uh, how how states is. Uh, I mean, uh, what I just utilized this litmus test to show. Uh, to show or how the forward guarantee would behave. Yeah, we just can't easily count the how many stock initial fails it is. Yeah. So 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 uh, so if you, you want to see how what 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 the machine forward guarantee is, uh, that that that's that's I found a way of that. Uh, and uh, you can disagree with that, but uh, but uh, I just show you uh, different different uh, result in different machine is yes. yeah if you run this litmus test on some weak uh, for for the guarantee machines you will find uh, maybe mass more uh, higher percent of fail yeah okay and then i modified the litmus test and uh, let it move more fail uh, that means here here is what i have done i just uh, uh, let p1 more frequently store yeah, on the QMU. Uh, and then uh, uh, I, 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 the the condition could build uh, could field more more hundred times, yeah, more hundred times weaker. Yeah, uh, that means uh, not only the the hardware could let the conditional field a lot. The scenario, the usage, uh, how you using the load reserve would also um, could 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 fail. I mean, uh, could also also relate to how failed it could be. Yeah. So uh, here is what I want to show you uh, the the foreign guarantee result. Yeah. Uh, how to measure it? Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, uh, so let's talk about how we implement the load reserve stock condition. The most famous uh, implementation is come from the uh, ARM uh, 32. Uh, it's called the exclusive monitor, and uh, and uh, an exclusive monitor is a single state machine with the positive possible states open and exclusive. A lot of exclusive operation updates the monitors to exclusive state. A store a store exclusive exclusive operation access the monitors to implement where, whether it can complete successfully. A store exclusive can succeed only if all access the uh, exclusive monitors are in the exclusive state. So so that means uh, it's a weak it, it's a it's a weak uh, foreign guarantee implementation. Uh, that means it permits the remote hard uh, uh, remote threat could uh, uh, catch co catch concurrency protocol could uh, disturb the the the, the lo load reserve store condition peer, and uh, that means the remote events could uh, could uh, fail the store condition, and uh, 
and uh, the and uh, the red side uh, is uh, is the I found the, uh, the uh, a patch to 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 fix the to enhance the Borland guarantee, and uh, they using the uh, prefetch uh, uh, Catalan prefetch in that things and uh, and make the make it uh, uh, so condition continues. Just to be clear, that that's not a guarantee. That's an optimization. Yeah, that's automation. Yeah. Okay, I had I had five minutes. I will be faster. And then uh, micro architecture case, case. Here is another implementation come from the junction, uh, and which reference the, by the boom. Yeah, and uh, it's it's using the lock catch locked catch the uh, lock catch the implementation. And I think it's a uh, very strong for the guarantees. Yeah. It, uh, and uh, that means it's uh, have the log cycles and the backup side. And in the log cycles, a uh, uh, lot of results of congestion in uh, peer in this uh, in this cycles cannot be disturbed by the remote events, but uh, it could still receive the local event. And uh, uh, and so it's uh, have a very strong for guarantee. And 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 when the stock is finished, and uh, and some backup to prevent some malicious hearts is to block the whole system. And uh, and next is the compare change loop uh, for world guarantees. And and uh, in this in this implementation, uh, because the, the compare change we can call it, we, we can think it is uh, think it is a lot of reserve stock energy peer. And uh, in the log cycles we, we, we can contain the two 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 of them. Yeah two of them. But we still uh, let the third third uh, third uh, uh, out of it and the back of it, yeah, and and, and give it, give the back off the changes, and then uh, uh, in this uh, CS loop and uh, in the signal loop, they would uh, be in in the same log cycles, and then the the for the guarantee would be uh, guaranteed. Okay, and uh, another micro architecture optimization of the for the guarantee is atomic map. It's uh, 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 it's a little bit the rock rock. I think it's a little bit rock technology because it's make risk machine work like this. That means that you can you can using the micro OP solution or we call it instruction solution and and wrap this instruction into one uh, macro MO operations such as the load reserve. And then you can mapping this atomic uh, operations to the interconnect uh, transaction. Yeah. Uh, the uh, trajectory with atomic store, atomic log, atomic swap, and uh, more complex is atomic compare. Yeah. Uh, another word is some interconnect cannot support this trajectory, and some interconnect uh, could support part of them, but uh, the compare exchange is so complex, so this kind of interconnect cannot support it. So maybe that's why a uh, lot of reserve stock energy is more flexible. And in this in this scenario, uh, actually uh, the the they they are the they are the same. Yeah, the, actually the load reserve stock uh, is the same with atomic. Yeah. Uh, good. So, I think you have one minute left. Okay. And so one correction is about the some people say the load uh, so, uh, so the load load link stock condition architecture cannot give good for the guarantee, but uh, I think it's a uh, it's cool. That depends on what the microarchitecture could do. Yeah. The problem and here is that it doesn't matter what a microarchitecture does. If there is any implementation which does not do that, the architecture does not provide the guarantee. That, and the key detail is that no architecture provides this guarantee today. Um, um, actually, some architectures make it very flexible. That means you can implement with the straightforward guarantee, but you can implement with the weak foreign guarantee. And uh, and uh, that's why this kind of architecture architectures need a tech lock or the Q spin lock because uh, they have the uh, compare exchange. Uh, they have the exchange. Uh, they they have the uh, they have the uh, swap, uh, in, uh, atomic swap instructions to meet the requirements from take lock, but they, but they don't, 
but uh, in the ice design, but for the two spin lock uh, mixed mi mi mixed uh, atomic exchange, they need a uh, they need a they need a micro architecture support. Yeah. Go. We are running out of time. I'm sorry to interrupt you right here, but uh, that's all time we've got. Thank you very much for the presentation. Thank you very much for everybody who attended. And now we should run downstairs before they eat our lunch. And thanks to Mike and Arne for organizing the microconference. Thanks, Arne, for attending remotely. And see you next year. Okay.